Yeah, what's up, fam? Today I wanted to talk about why or how discrimination is killing this society. Notice I didn't say my society because this is not my society. I said this society, this society that I currently live in. I guess I thought about this because um, when I saw the, the H&M &M ad um, about a week ago, I saw a lot of uh, backlash. I saw a lot of feedback about that. And it made me think about a few things. And it made me think about the fact that H&M didn't get the backlash, in my opinion. I don't think it's about the ad. My beef with H&M has nothing to do with the actual ad. My problem with them is the reason why the ad got out. And the reason why the ad got out is because they had no black people in the room. And that's the problem with a lot of these major corporations. They don't have any blacks who are decision makers or executives or in top positions at these corporations. And it's due largely in part to discrimination. You know, to the fact that you would put out something that stupid, knowing that if a black person was in the room, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have let it get that far. Now you now it's costing you millions of dollars, all because you want to be race, racist and you have this good old boys club that you don't want to let nobody in. And you have your little tight circle of friends and you don't want to let qualified people into your little executive circle. And that's exactly what you get. I'm glad this is happening. And I'm hoping that H&M learns that lesson from this, not the ad itself. Because to be honest, I think they learned the wrong lesson. I think the real lesson is, why don't you have more diversity in top ranks at corporations? Why don't you have black uh, people in positions of power and positions that uh, where they can make decisions and they can be they can be those uh, top people to let you know, hey, you know, this is not good. This is not my community won't accept this. Because let's look at the bigger picture here. Most corporations market to black folks. I've, I've noticed that. You know, every time you see a Walmart commercial, there's always black people in it. Just look at the next time. The next time you see a Walmart commercial, pay attention. Walmart commercials have black people in them all the time. McDonald's commercials have black people in them all the time. A lot of these corporations market to black folks and they don't have any black people in the room when they're making decisions. How can you market to a community and you don't have people in the room that are part of that community? You want to sell to us, but you don't want to hire us. And that's why I'm glad H&M was getting bit in the ass because of that particular reason. And to be honest, I don't even think they learned the lesson from this. Because I see this with a lot of corporations. You know, you have corporations where they won't promote the best qualified person. You know, they'll have a they'll have an educated person, an educated black person who has to work their way up. And they're at they have they're in the same position for five years or so or more. And then they bring in a white person, their white counterpart over them to be their boss just because they're friends with the CEO and have no better qualifications or education than anybody else there. And what you get is a bunch of idiots running a, co a company who don't know what they're doing, but get paid all the big bucks. And they're using the knowledge and the expertise of the people at the bottom. Understand is what these corporations do. They'll put you there at the bottom and they use your knowledge to get ahead. They'll use your knowledge and ideas and then pass it along as their own. And they get the credit for it. I've seen, I've, I've experienced this firsthand at corporations I've worked in. I've worked in corporate America. I see exactly what they do. I've seen firsthand where they bring in managers and executives who have no experience whatsoever, who might not even have worked in the field, but just because they knew somebody and they have that that tight good old boys club, you know, that's so tight they don't want to let anybody in, that, you know, they're they're making the wrong decisions. And they'll end up running the company in the ground before they give somebody a, a qualified person, a black qualified person the first shot. And that's the real underlying uh, problem here. That was H&M's real problem. Even though 
you know, I don't want to just talk about H and M. I'm talking about this in a broader sense, but I'm using H and H and M as an example because I think it's a good example. The fact that you have no diversity at all. If you have all whites at the top and all blacks at the bottom, that's not that's not diversity. A lot of corporations think they're diverse just because they have black folks working there. It's not diverse if blacks are not some of the decision makers at the top. You know, you got black janitors and black uh, people who are at the very bottom, you know, or, or you know, black workers, frontline workers, and you want to call yourself a diverse, a diverse company. You know, like I said, who in the hell let that ad get out? You know, I mean, you went through all them channels and it never ran across a black person at all. That's a disgrace. That didn't run by one black person. That lets you know the type of company H&M is. And that should make anybody think twice before they want to work at a company like that. Any person of color anyway, any black person, you already know how they treat us there. Because you, you, see, you see the results. And all because you didn't want to truly be diverse, you're losing millions of dollars. What what would it what would it have what would it have cost you? What would it cost you to hire a black person or have uh, two or three blacks in that position? What would that have costed you? It would have costed a lot less than what you're paying now. Just to give somebody an opportunity, and they wonder why black unemployment is so high. They wonder why. We can't save money and buy houses and invest and invest in our children's future like they do. It's not it's not a big mystery because corporate America is nothing but a good old boys club. That's all it is. It's really not corporate America. It's a big good old boys club. And they are real tight about letting anybody in that club, even though you have more knowledge and more skills than they do. And what you get is a dumb boneheaded mistake like what what they did. That's what you get. And not only that, you've seen that in a lot of corporations, you know, that that have made dumb racist comments. And when you talk about discrimination, you have two main uh, elements. You have the uh, racial discrimination, you have gender discrimination. And both of them are very important because you need different races and different genders and both genders in the room because you can make something that's insensitive to females. And if you don't have a female in the room, then you're going to get backlash over that. I, I don't think it's healthy to have all females in the room either without a man in the room. I mean, when do we get to a point where we don't value other people's perspective? We don't value other people's point of view. I mean, that's just plain old sick. And that's what corporate America is all about. They're focused so much on making money, they've almost eliminated the human element out of all this. And like I said, I'm glad they're paying dearly for it. To be honest, I hope they go out of business. And I hope all these corporations get shut down for the blatant discrimination against qualified, educated black people who deserve to be in those positions and have earned it and worked for it. Think about this. We have more black college graduates than we ever have had in the history of this country. Yet the unemployment rate is still ridiculously high with all these black college graduates we have. What does that tell you? It tells you that qualified people are not getting hired. They're either un unemployed or underemployed. And that's that's the, the culture of corporate America. That's not just the culture of corporate America, that's the culture of our society. Look at these major cities. Most of these major cities now, you go downtown, how many black people do you know live or work downtown? They're trying to push us out and try to make us irrelevant. But you can't do that because we're already too embedded, we're already too invested in this society for you to do that. If you wanted to do that, then you should have done it way before now because now we're too invested. We're a part of the American fabric. You need us to be rich. We... White America can't thrive unless, unless we're on the bottom suffering, unless we're serving them. They need us to make their wealth. And that's how capitalism works. You have winners and you have losers. And their thriving depends on our suffering, unfortunately. And they don't even appreciate that. 
they still take us for granted, even though we're the ones that help them build their wealth, wealth by working at their companies, working at their factories, spending money at their companies, being the biggest consumers. We consume more than most countries in this world. You know, $1.3 trillion or whatever it is, spending power, it's not going back into our pockets. It's going to somebody's pockets. It's not going in ours, though. And the lack of sensitivity, the lack of compassion, the lack of empathy, the lack of appreciation, to me, it's just sick, and I think it's going to come back to bite them. It's already, it's already coming back to bite you. Because what happens is, when you try to push people out like that, like I said, you get idiots running the company, and you also get idiots running the country, which is exactly what we have now. A bunch of idiots running the country. Can't even agree on funding the government. Can't even get keep the government running. But yet, you know, they want to hold you accountable. And they want to talk about how, oh, you too lazy to do this and you can't do this. And you have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and work hard and this and that. Well, what are you doing? They're not setting the example. Our so-called leaders are a bunch of hypocrites. That's what they are. Nothing but liars and hypocrites. Can't even afford to keep the government running. Don't know what they're doing because all they do is look out for each other. You know, if you look at Congress, there's no scientists in Congress. You know, no engineers, no real business people or real uh, creative thinkers. It's just a status quo. Of just, of just a bunch of law graduates with, who, who got law degrees who know how to argue a point. And want to keep the status quo. We should have progressed a lot more before now. The technology should be more advanced. Houses should be more advanced. Cars should be more advanced. The way our way of thinking should be more advanced. And other countries are, are passing us by because we want to hold on to the status quo. Well, the leaders want to hold on to the status quo. They're, sh they're shooting them on their own selves in the foot and they're killing themselves. That's what lying and greed and dishonesty and deception will do to you. It destroys yourself. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. Destroying this country. With all the lies and deceit and greed. So, that's basically what I wanted to say about that. Because these corporations, you know, they have no shame now. Look at any corporation. Go research any corporation. Find out how many black males are working there. First, find out how many blacks are working there, period. And find out how many black males are there. And then you can probably count on your hand if any black executives are there. That's most corporations. Any Fortune 500 company. So soon, they're going to be ran into the ground. Because, like I said, what they're going to do is just keep hiring their friends and trying to shut people out who have some real knowledge and real ideas of improving things and people who really would want to help their company but you can't you just can't see past your damn bigotry and your racism you can't even see past it long enough to see to see the big picture and to think long term so yeah what you're doing is good for the short term but in the long term it's going to kill you it's going to destroy you and I, for one, can't wait till it is destroyed. Until next time, peace.